Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, how are you? Fine. Fine, excellent. Are you ready for the class? Yes, no, yes. maybe. <laughs> yes, okay, very good. So I think we're going to start. Mrs. ATM. Very good. <clears throat> Let's see how many people is here. Hello, Eliani. Hello, Mariela. Wendy, Fausto, hello. Hello. Hello, hello Madali. Madali or Madali? I hope you're right. Okay. Let's wait maybe for another person to arrive. So we can start. Good night, teacher. Good night. How are you today? Very good. Good? Perfect. Very good. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Very nice. This way, this way, and this way. Okay, so today, pretty much, we are going to start with the class number number 10, actually. Class number 10, we have been here for 10 days, right? And we are going to finish today, hopefully, we are going to finish unit number two, right? Uh, hoy vamos a terminar la unidad número dos. Ya llevamos diez días de clases. Yay. Y vamos a ver qué, qué más eh, vamos a aprender. Ya vi la unidad tres y la cuatro están súper bonitas. Y veamos qué más podemos aprender este día o qué podemos practicar. Ok. Good evening, good evening, everyone. Para los que van llegando, good evening. Um, now, uh, I would like to know if you finish the, the midterm. Do you finish the midterm? Terminaron el midterm que les aparece en la plataforma. Todavía no han llegado ahí. El de la segunda unidad. Ajá, exactly. Sí. Sí, ¿quién dijo sí? Madali. Yes. Mariela. Mariela, ok. Yo. Sí. Ok. Para los que no lo han terminado, si alguien no lo ha terminado, sería acá, veamos. Can you see my computer? Yes. Ok, wait, wait, wait. Ok. So, pretty much the midterm is right here at the end of unit two. You're supposed to finish everything, like all the uh, all the homework. Oh, sorry, all the homework activities there, right? Yeah. Tarea número 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Y los que no han terminado el midterm tienen que terminar el midterm. Son cuatro partes. There are four parts of the midterm there that you should finish, right? And each of them, it's you know very uh, like kind of repetitive. We have uh, pretty much the same exercises. I right, for it. Most of them is grammar. And I would like to know if you have any problems. Algún problema que hayan tenido al momento de, de completar el meter. Los que ya lo hicieron. ¿Algún, tuvieron algún, algún problema, alguna confusión. Y en la en las seis, este lo completé porque era de completarlo pero siempre me daba eh, incorrecto todo en la parte 6 del midterm ¿Sí? ok let me see here pero es que eran por los puntos porque lo que usted está explicando el viernes ah por el punto, y, sí, y, eso sí y por el apóstrofe también 
Ajá, Eso sí. entonces había que poner bien las palabras. Por ejemplo, el, el punto, en este caso, el punto sí es bien importante, las partes que se completan, le muestro. Usualmente en el teclado hay unos que usamos, déjeme ver acá, usamos otro tipo de, de apostrofe, que no es el correcto. Pueden ver mi compu, sí, ¿verdad? Digamos, sí, sí. solo por, por travesear acá un poquito, este es el apóstrofe que les está pidiendo el, el, el ejercicio. Uh -huh. sí, pero, uh -huh. No sé si porque lo escribía todo en mayúscula también eso era problema. Ah, sí, porque sí. por ejemplo tiene que utilizar mayúscula, como les decía el, eh, eh, la semana pasada, solo si el inicio de la oración. Minúscula. ¿Manda? Dice lo mismo, mayúscula o minúscula. No, ¿a dónde? Lo que tiene que ir con mayúscula, tiene que ir con mayúscula. Sí, o por sea, ejemplo, si lo demás está en minúscula. Con mayúscula y si eran uh -huh. nombres propios o cuestiones así, uh -huh. teníamos que poner así. Exacto. Lo demás normal en minúscula. En minúscula y con el puntito. A veces uh -huh. tenemos un problema eh, que a mí me pasaba, por ejemplo, que antes escribía así, ¿ve? ponía el punto separado de la, de la palabra. Acá, por ejemplo, donde dice uh -huh. work. Lo ponía así. Si yo lo pongo así en el ejercicio, me sale malo. Aunque toda la estructura esté buena, por la puntuación también sale mala. Pero si, si aún así, si lo sigue usted haciendo bien con todos los consejos que le han dado aquí sus compañeros y todavía le sale mal, mande un screenshot, mándeme un screenshot a mí al, al, al WhatsApp y vamos a revisar qué es lo que está pasando. No se preocupe para ayudar. ¿Ok? okay. ¿Alguien más tuvo algún problema con el Mecha? Los que ya lo hicieron, ¿no? Ok. Entonces, los que no lo han hecho, si tienen, si tienen algún problema para acceder o para completarlo, por favor avisen. Eh, sin ningún problema les vamos a ayudar. Now, let's continue with the class then. Right here. And we are going to continue with unit number two. Right? Daily routines. Today we finish unit number two, and we are in video conferencia numero 10, simple present practice, daily routines, okay? Daily routines. That's what we're going to do. We're working with simple present, okay? We're working with simple present, and we are also working with daily routines, right? Now, Let's start with a small activity. With this small activity, I, last week I told you that we will need to practice the days of the week. So first, right, there are seven days of the week. Right? I said the day of the semana. There are seven days of the week, and we're going to see the pronunciation. The pronunciation is pretty easy, but sometimes we get confused. Okay, so the first day of the week is Monday. For example, today, Today is Monday, right? Tomorrow, it will be Tuesday. Then we're going to have Wednesday, Wednesday, right? Then we have Thursday, Thursday, then the best day of the week, Friday. <clears throat> and then we have Saturday. Some people, and listen to this, some people, for example, here in El Salvador, here in El Salvador, we say that Sunday is the last day of the week, right? In El Salvador es común que pongamos el domingo al final. But in the United States, we put Sunday at the beginning, right? So people will say, what's the first day of the week? Is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. For me, I think the most difficult, like, um, what can I say? Pronunciation for the days of the week is this, Wednesday, Wednesday. <laughs> Right? We don't say Wednesday, we say Wednesday. Like if this D doesn't exist, right? Como que si esta D no existiera, Wednesday. 
And also for me, it's difficult to pronounce this word. That is Thursday. Thursday. Okay. Now we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That's the pronunciation. Can someone help me out and repeat the pronunciation? Let's see, any volunteers? Go. Yes, okay, go. Wait. Monday, mm -hmm. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday. Saturday, okay, very good, very good. Now we are going to practice Wendy this one. Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, okay, Sunday, Sunday. very good. Sunday. Now, Wendy, we're going to practice this. Tuesday. 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 Tuesday, Tuesday. very good. Now, Tuesday. number five, Thursday. 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 Look at, look at my mouth. Thursday. Thursday. Look, at, look at my mouth when say Thursday. 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 Almost, almost. Have you ever watched the Avengers movie? Yeah, Mr. Avengers. No. 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 Yes. Okay. No. In, the, in the Avengers, there is a guy, there is one superhero that is called Thor, right? So you say Thursday. 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 Exactly. Um, then we go. We go with Friday. 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 And Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Very good. Saturday. Very good. Who else wants to try? Let's see. Let's see here. Hello, Carla. How do you said? Nice to see you. <laughs> Let's see. Let me try Mariela de Los Angeles. Let's try. Let's practice this pronunciation, Mariela. Help me out. Uh, let's see. Can you see my computer, Mariela? Yes. Okay, very good. Let's start. Sunday. <clears throat> Monday. Tuesday, mm -hmm. Wednesday, perfect. Thursday, mm -hmm. Friday, mm -hmm. Saturday, Saturday. Very good. Can you choose one person from this group to help me out also with the pronunciation? Mm. <coughs> Eliani. Eliani, okay, Eliani, let's go. Number six, what's the pronunciation? Friday. Number one? Sunday. Number seven? <clears throat> Saturday. Number three? Thursday. Number four? Wednesday. Number one? Monday. Number two? Thursday. Number two? Monday. Okay. Number five? Thursday. Thursday. Very good. Thursday. Very good, Eliani. Choose another person. Rene. Rene. Let's just start with number seven, Rene. Okay. Saturday. Six? As it's Friday. Five. Five. Thursday. One. Sunday. Number two. Monday. Number three. Tuesday. Four. Wednesday. Wednesday. Very good. Very good. Who else wants to try? Who else wants to try? Choose another person, the last one, Rene. So we can um, 
Eh, Abel. Abel. Okay, Abel. I'm going to put the screen again, Abel. Okay, let's start with number one, Abel. Sunday. Seven. Sunday. Mm -hmm. Saturday. Two. Day. Number two. Monday. Number three. Monday. Thursday. Number six. Friday. Five. Thursday. Thursday. And number four. Wednesday. Wednesday. Very good. Wednesday. Very good. So these are the days of the week. Do you have any, any questions about the pronunciation? Any questions? No questions? No. Let's go. Continue. No question. No questions. Okay. Okay, let's continue. I have another exercise for you. This is this ex. Oh, let me see. I'm gonna close this. This exercise that I have for you, it's related to the jobs and occupations. Okay, jobs and occupations. I want you to take a look at this right now, right? And it says, ask and answer who questions or well, sorry, WH questions about jobs. Use the words below. Okay. Now, when we say use the words below, right, let's take a look on this, right? Now, it says, words are uniform, it stands all day, sits all day, handles money, talks to people, works at night, works hard, makes a lot of money, okay? That, those are like um, the things they do, like the activities, right, they do. But I want you to remember the occupations that we saw, I think, on Friday. Do you remember the occupations that we saw last week on Friday? What were the occupations? I'm gonna show you the occupations one more time. Let me put here. Do you remember the occupations from last week? No? Maybe. Possiblemente. We saw a lot of vocabulary last week. Do you remember? Uy, no se acuerda. Ya me afligía. Receptionist. Receptionist. Okay, that's one. Very good. That's one occupation. That, that's one job. Very good. Another one? Another vocabulary that you remember from last week? Police officer. Painter. Painter, okay, painter. Very good. Bookkeeper. Painter. Bookkeeper, okay, very good. Very good, painter, bookkeeper, what else? Nurse. Nurse, okay. Accountant. Nurse. Accountant. Nurse. Okay, very good. Nurse, accountant. What else? Cashier. Cashier. Okay, very good. Let me let me get you the list because I think I have the list. Security right here. guard. Security That's guard. Brenda. Okay, security guard. Very good. What else? Vendor, okay, vendor, that's one, perfect, vendor. Okay, what else? Taxi driver. Taxi driver, okay, taxi driver. What else? Bell hook. Huh? Bell hook. Bell hook, okay, oh yeah, bell hook. Yeah, that's true, bell hook. Very good. From the flare. Hmm? From the flare. 
Okay. Oh, front desk clerk. Very good, Wendy. Very good. That's nice. I think I found Sales it. person. Sales person. Okay, very good. So those are the like the jobs of, or occupations that we need to remember. Let's see if those are the one I'm gonna show you here. Who remembers another one? I think those are the the jobs or occupations that we remember, right? Let's see. Let me show you one more time. So what are we going to do? For these job and occupations that we do have, right? Accountant, bellhop, cashier, doctor, and so on, right? What we're going to do is that we can use them, right? We can use them to make this other exercise, okay? You have this vocabulary in your notebook, right? Now, for us to work here, look at the example. It says, who, who is a question that we ask, right? When we are talking about people. Cuando queremos preguntar acerca de alguna persona o de alguien, we use who, okay? Who, look at this, who. And then we ask, who wears a uniform? It says, a police officer wears a uniform, right? A police officer wears a uniform. And that is one thing that the police officer does, and that's part of our vocabulary, police officer, right? So we are connecting the information, okay? And then we are going to continue working here we we'll go in a security guard. We are going to choose one of these options to say a security guard and then one of the options that we have. Okay, vamos a utilizar las frases que tenemos to create small sentences. Is that clear what we're doing? Is it clear what we're doing? ¿Se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Yes. So we use the question who, right? Who, we're looking for a police officer. Who wears a uniform? Oh, then we go here, right? And then we say a police officer wears a uniform, right? Now you can get the jobs and occupations for, from the other slide. Van a obtener la información o las ocupaciones o las profesiones del vocabulario que practicamos la semana pasada. Is that clear what we're doing? Ya entendemos qué vamos a hacer. Hello, is someone there? Yes. Yes, only yes. Eliane. Yes, well, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, mm -hmm. Rene also, very good. Eric, very good. Okay. So we can, if we continue here in a security guard, what? What can we say about the security guard? Handles money. Hmm. Handles money, a security guard. Work mm -hmm. at night. Works at night. Works, works, works at, at night. Works at night. Works works at night. At night. Works this, at could night. Be, this could be an option, very good. A security guard works at all night. Day. So what could be, or works works all day, it stands all day also. What could be the question for this answer? Who works at night? Who works at night? A security guard works at night. Is that clear what we're doing? Para que, no, para que no nos confundamos con las estructuras. Esta es la estructura que vamos a utilizar. Who plus the phrase, the occupation, and the phrase. Okay. ¿Qué vamos a utilizar? La pregunta who más una de las frases que tenemos y luego una de las ocupaciones más la frase que tenemos. ¿Es that clear? Yeah. Yes. Ok, very good. So let me let me put this again or uh, clear so we have a copy of what we're going to do. So I need you to take please a screenshot so you can take a look at this information. Give me one moment. Okay. 
Okay, there we are. Do you take the screenshot? Yes. Do you have the job yes. and occupations? These are the job or occupations. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. So now we're going to work in groups. We're going, we have 18 people. So we're going to work in groups of three, right? So we can start doing this activity right away. Vamos a hacer esto rapidito. Give me one moment. Let's see. Okay. Now let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Select your group, please. Select your group. Vamos a eh, tratar de formar la, la pregunta con los complementos que tenemos, por ejemplo, en, en pero si sí copio la, las pantallas. Solamente le hice screenshot a la primera pantalla. Do you want me to show you the, the screens again? Por favor. Ok. Eh, para que copien las pantallas. Bueno. Okay. This is the first one. Esa. Take a screenshot. Okay. Ya está. Next one. Here. Esa sí ya la tengo. You have it? Okay. La otra la que me falta, pero ya la copé. ¿Qué hay de los demás? ¿Todos tienen eso? Eh, sí. sí. Okay, very good. Okay, do you have any questions about the activity? No, no questions? No. Okay. Serían con todas las... With all the phrases, con todas las frases. Les van a sobrar ocupaciones. Okay, very good. Okay. I'll go to another group. See you later. Okay. Any questions? Hello, are you there? Creo que tengo lento mi inter. <laughs> it's raining, right? It's getting stuck. Me escucha entrecortado todo. Really? Y el recepcionista también. Recepcionista. In English, how do you say receptionist? Receptionista, practiquemos. Who talks, who talks to people? Mm -hmm. Very good. Who talks to people in uh, receptionist? Talks to people. Okay, very good. Very good. Let's keep on practicing. Perdón, ¿cuál? No, una enfermera, le podemos poner a nurse. Ah, enfermera en inglés. A nurse. 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 A nurse. Nurse. A nurse. A nurse. Do you have any questions? Una de las preguntas, one question, oh. is a who, who uh, works uh, hard? Who works 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 hard?
Who works hard? hard. Who works Re hard? Exactly. Uh, y la respuesta la pregunta, answer, answer uh, sería hard. Uh, a software engineer uh, works too hard. But you're going to choose from the occupations that you have in the screen. Solo las que están ahí. Yeah. Right now, okay. those are the ones that, that we're practicing. Solo me podría eh, hacer la pronunciación de la, de la pregunta. Who, who, for example, who wears a uniform? Who works hard? Who stands all day? Who? El who wears se mantiene para todas las preguntas, teacher. No. Wears a uniform is a phrase. Si se fija en la frase que tiene en la, en la slide, wears uh -huh. a uniform ya es una frase. ¿Cuáles son las otras frases? Ah, ok, ya la entendí. Vaya, Peter, eh, usted. Peter, podría compartirnos las. Yo no logré copiar las, las profesiones que estaban ahí, por eso que yo estaba diciendo otra. Those are the ones from last week, Peter. These are from last week. Yeah. Okay, so we're working on the pronunciation. Accounting, the you... Okay? Okay, you thank you. Wear... Can you see that? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, uh, uniform. Eh, hagamos la de Wendy. La de uniforme podemos ponerlo como el guardia de seguridad. El de... How do you say el... guardia de seguridad in English, Wendy? Eh, security guard. Guard. Security, security guard. guard. Very good. Okay. So practice your English, Wendy. Sí, teacher. Eh, teacher. O sea que podemos utilizar las dos preguntas. La de. La de. Hood word. Uh, no sé cómo se pronuncia uniforme en inglés. Uniform. 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 Ahora, vaya, miren, quiero que se fijen aquí. Todas estas, lo que vamos a hacer es que las vamos a utilizar para hacer las preguntas. Todas estas frases de aquí. ¿Cuál podría ser otra frase? Otra frase podría ser, who sits all day? Who sits all day? De todas estas profesiones. Who sits all day? A receptionist. A receptionist sits all day. Very good. A receptionist sits all day. Very good. So how would how would your answer be? ¿Cómo sería su respuesta? Yo le voy a hacer la primera que me dio y usted me da la de la de taxi driver, ¿ok? Voy a poner. Okay. Miren bien acá. Who sits all day? Who sits? Who sits all day? Wendy me dice, a receptionist sits all day. Esa es una respuesta. ¿Cuál es la otra, Wendy? You sits. No, solo la respuesta. Esta es la pregunta. Ah, solo la respuesta. Ok. Who sits all day, Wendy? A taxi driver. A taxi driver. A taxi driver. A taxi driver sits all day. All day. All day. All day. All day. Very good. Very good. Oh, ¿Qué okay. utilizamos? Si se fijan, utilizamos who más la frase que tenemos. Y para la respuesta es la ocupación más la frase que tenemos. Right? Okay, very good. So what could be another question? ¿Cuál sería otra pregunta? Who tell, no sé cómo se pronuncia, tell to people. Talks to people. Who talks to people? Who talks? Talks. Talks. To people. Mm -hmm. Who talks to people, Pedro? Um, From here. Who talks um, to people? Office manager. A office manager. To... An office manager? Office manager. Talks to people. Very good. An office manager talks to people. 
¿qué, ¿quién se ocupa de hablar con las personas? Un The office, un, office, un office manager, manager talks to people. ¿Quién usa uniforme? Un policía utiliza uniforme. ¿Quién se sienta todo el día? Un recepcionista se sienta todo el día. Un taxi driver se sienta todo el día. Okay. Right? So, yes. do we understand the activity now? Yes. ¿Entendemos la actividad? Ok. Very good. I will be back with you in one minute. Okay. In all day, man. Es que, do you have questions? Eh, ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se dice qué es? O qué significa? What is, what is the meaning what is, of? Uh -huh. What is uh, este, no, en handle money. What is the meaning of? What is the meaning of handle money? Handles money, for example, if you go to a bank, a cashier handles money, for example. Mm. They get money all the day. They take care of money. They see money every day. Mm. They don't have money, but they handle mm. money. Handle money. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería, who handles money? No. What, what is a handle money? No. That no. is not correct. Look at the question. I gave you a set of questions. ¿Cuáles son las preguntas yeah. que yo ya le di? Ah, sería entonces. Eh... No, porque dijera que por pago. Uf, no. Oh, do... Casher. What is casher? What is no. casher? No. No. Mm -mm. no. I will is... show you. I will show you one more time, okay? Let's pay attention. Mm -hmm. Look at my computer. Now. Okay. Now, look at this. Can you see my computer right now? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's pay attention. When we say here, right, and we have all the information here, we have the first question. It says, who wears a uniform who a police officer wears a uniform okay then you want to ask who who handles money who handles money a cashier handles money right so what do we have we're going to have the word who plus one of the phrases that we have here, right? And the answer is the profession or the occupation plus the phrase, okay? Now, what could be a question if I want, what could be another question? Choose one of the phrases. Escojan una de las frases. Fíjense bien aquí, tenemos who más una de las frases. La respuesta significa, permítanme, la respuesta es una ocupación más la frase. La misma frase que utilizamos en la pregunta. What could be another example? ¿Cuál sería otro ejemplo? Uh, how stand all day? No. Ah, el ejemplo del how handle money. No. Solamente estamos, entonces sería... solamente estamos utilizando who. Ah, entonces who sería. Who? 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 Eh, creo, entonces ahí sería la ocupación. Ajá, exactly, very good, very good. Ocupación, pero espera que quiero ver, no, no lo tengo la imagen aquí donde está la ocupación. Eliane, Walter, what do you think the answer is? Who stay all day? Uh -huh. um, Ahorita lo. Person, 
Okay. Uh, a salesperson stands all day. Sales salesperson stands all day. What what is what is salesperson? What is salesperson? We said last week. What is the meaning of salesperson? Es como un vendedor, pero así como los que están en las salas de venta. Exactly. Ah, un demostrador. Uh -huh. But it can be anybody, anybody. A salesperson is anybody. For example, if you go, if you go to the streets or if you go in a bus, right? And mm. you see some people selling candies, right? La cinco por la cora, that's a salesperson. Um, vendedor, oh, okay. cualquier tipo de vendedor. Okay. Oh, okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Walter, what could be another example? Uh, what, six, all day? No. Solamente estamos utilizando who. Solo who. who? No estamos uh, utilizando who? nada más. Who? Who? Six mm -hmm. all day? Six all day? Yeah, that is already or, already assigned. Another one? Uh, Say counter. Assign. A who sits? Okay. Who, uh -huh. who sits all day? day yes, sir. What's the answer? La, six or uh, no. a counter, a counter, six or day. An accountant. An accountant. An accountant. An accountant. Ah, six, six an accountant. Sits all day. Very good. Yeah. Okay, very good. So let's continue. Oh no, let's go. It's Thank you, teacher. Late. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. No, vamos, no, vamos. no, no. Two more minutes. <laughs> Two more minutes. Y nos vamos, porque ya es una 8.45. Two more yeah. minutes. In English? A lot of money. A lot of Make a lot, a lot of, of money. money. Hace mucho dinero, eh. A lot of money. A lot of money. A, a lot of money. A, lo, a lot of. I want to listen of... to your examples. Eh, eh, a uno, teacher. Make a lot of a lot of money is hacer dinero, este teacher. Yes. Hacer dinero. Yes. La imprenta. <risa> pues sí, ellos lo hacen. Hace dinero. Ay, pues sí, sí la imprenta lo hace. Hace el dinero. Uy, ¿cuál vamos a poner en esta? Ey, en esa sí nos ha ponchado. Eh, auxilio, ayuda, ¿Aponta? por favor. El look, at the pro look at the professions. No, Ajá, que a contact, a contact, no, a la contact no, no, no hace el dinero, sino que solo como que lo, lo organiza. Lleva la eh. pero no está hablando lleva, de hacer ajá. dinero en físico, está hablando de ganar dinero. Gana dinero. Ah, cuando ustedes vean la frase, tax makes, driver, tax. Y cuando ustedes díganos, vean. Sí, díganos, díganos, teacher, por favor. <ríe> When you see the phrase makes a lot of money, cuando usted vea la frase que dice makes a lot of money, no significa que hace dinero en papel, o sea, que hace el dinero físico en sí, sino que significa okay. que gana bastante dinero. He has a very good salary. ¿Quién creen ustedes que de todas estas profesiones que ustedes tienen acá hace buen dinero? De todos ellos. Doctor. El doctor. doctor, very good. Who else? A doctor. En a contact, de, dependiendo de la empresa, dependiendo de la empresa. An office manager, very uh -huh. good. Taxi Pongamos driver. Eso. Very good. Taxi driver. Podemos utilizar Taxi driver, ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can just... Yeah. Podemos yeah. utilizar dos entonces para la respuesta también. Yes. Sí. A taxi driver and a doctor... A Makes a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Lot of money. Okay. Como que sería el doctor. 
taxi driver, de su mente. El contador. Porque solo esa nos faltaría ya. Entonces vamos a poner okay. acá. Ponemos el contador. Okay. No, y el después el, el, el office manager. Ya Ajá. usamos el doctor. El contador. Ok, so let's go so we can share with the other group, ok? Let's go. Ok. Vámonos, vámonos, vámonos. You're welcome. Ok, so let's start sharing the information that we have. Okay, let's start sharing here. And I want to know, I want to, I am going to pick up someone who's going to start. I voy a, a, a seleccionar alguien que va a comenzar. Y esa persona va a ir escogiendo a los demás. All of you should have an answer. Van a tener respuestas distintas, un poquito distintas, pero va a tener coherencia. Okay, let's see. Now, let me show this again. Have your answers ready, please. Tengan sus respuestas ya listas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. So I want to start yeah. with Miss Mariela. Can you help me, Mariela? Uh, Mariela is going to help me right yes. now. And what is the first question that you have created? Uh, my first question is, uh, who wears a uniform? Okay, who wears a uniform? What's the answer? A police officer wears a uniform. Okay, a nurse great. wears a uniform. A, a nurse. doctor. Uh -huh. A doctor wears a uniform. And security guard wears a uniform. And finally. That's okay. Very good. That's the end. Very good. Now choose another person, Mariela. Uh, Peter. Peter. Okay, Peter, go. Okay. Says, who worked at the night? A doctor worked at the night. Mm -hmm. And and nurse. A nurse? A nurse uh, work at the night. Works at night. At night. At night. Okay. Mm -hmm. What uh, else? Otra pregunta es, who makes a lot of money? Who makes a lot of money? Uh, is a office manager. An office made manager? A, made a lot, a lot of money. A lot of. A lot of, lot a money. lot of, a lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of money. Very good, Pedro. Choose another person. Uh, Eric. Eric. Okay. It's the who handles money? Who handles money? Money. A cashier handles money. We tell to people. A receptionist start to people. Okay. We stand all day. A security guard stand all day. A security uh, guard. Guard. A security guard. A security guard stand Listen. all day. A security guard. Guard. A, seguri a security guard. 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 <laughs> Forget about guard. the U. Forget about the U. Guard. Okay. Guard. Olvídese de la U, no pronuncie la U, solamente guard, security guard. guard. Mm -hmm. Se security guard. Very good, there you are, okay. perfect. Okay, perfect. Uh, repeat, who stand all day, a security guard a standard all day. Very good. Okay. Choose another person, Eric. Um, Arita. Arita. Good good work at night. A doctor work at night and nurse. Y a nurse. 
and nurse work at night. Works. 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 Works at night. Very good. Okay, now it's very important that you pronounce the S. Works, stands, handles, works, talks. Right, okay, very good. Wendy, choose another person. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Abel. Abel. Abel, hello. Hola. Abel. Hello. Hola. Hola, hola. Probando, probando. Uh -huh. Sí, me oye. Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> okay, bueno. Dice, who makes a lot of money? Uh -huh. Sería a doctor en office manager eh, content. Y what? La de... what? What do they do? A doctor? A doctor en office manager uh -huh. y a content. What? ¿Qué, ¿Qué pasa con ellos? Eh, ah, a okay. lot of money. Okay. Uh -huh. Make a lot of money. A lot of money. Mm -hmm. okay, a lot of so money of... Give me a full answer. A lot of money. Okay. okay. Wait. Who my a lot of money? Eh, sería a lot And a lot of money of his manager. A lot of money, a content. No, follow this structure. A doctor makes a lot of a lot. money. Ah, okay. Okay. A doctor makes a lot of money. Si usted le va a poner más acá, tiene que decir a doctor, coma, an office manager, coma, eh, ¿cuál otro día? A salesperson. Eh. A contact. Make contact. a lot of money. Make, ya no sería make, sería make a make. lot of money. Ah, okay. okay. Pero sigan siempre, recuérdense, subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement. That should always be there. Okay. Now, okay. anybody who wants to participate? Una pregunta, teacher. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Question, question. Cuando se dice a doctor makes este y lo y se incluye a una segunda o una tercera persona, se borra la S. No, because no. a doctor is a third person. Is he? Ah, okay. Is okay. he? Okay. The thing is that okay, Abel, yes. Abel was saying a doc. He he said a doctor. Our, our. An office manager. Okay. An office manager and an accountant make a lot of money. An account, oh, sorry. An accountant make a lot of money. Why do, do we don't say makes? Because make is only for third person singular. Cuando ya tenemos un sujeto de más de uno, ya no es third person. Okay, because we're going okay. to say okay. they make a lot of money, right? Okay. okay. Okay, very good, Eric. Very good, thank okay. you for your question. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you another exercise that you're going to do individually right now. Look at my screen, please. It says here, complete yeah. the sentences with the verse in parentheses. Right now, don't copy. Pueden tomarle un screenshot, no hay problema. Pero quiero que vean las oraciones y me digan cómo pondrían el verbo. Es el verbo enter person, si no va enter person, cómo sería. Okay. Take a screenshot and tell me the answers. Quickly. Number one, Carla Diazet. What could be the answer for number one? Vamos a utilizar el verbo que está en paréntesis. We're going to use the verb in parentheses. Mm -hmm. 
order everything in the office. She was. Okay, let's let's uh, let's get some help for for Carla. Let's see, Madali. What would you have in number one, Madali? Vamos, vamos, el lunes, he... el lunes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, or orders he orders everything in the office. Very good. He orders, orders. everything, in, everything? The office, in the office. Orders. Very good, very good. He orders everything in the office. Mm -hmm. Very good. Choose the next person, Madali. Um, uh, anybody, anybody, anybody. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Um, vamos a ver. Pedro. Peter, number three. Number three. Yes, Helen, not. No. Remember oh. that we're using first, uh, we're using simple present. So what is the negative form of simple present, Peter? Isn't. No, that's the verb to be. Is that's not. the verb to be. No, that's the verb to be. Ese es el verbo to be. ¿Cuál sería la negative? What? Doesn't. Doesn't. Very good. Helen doesn't. Helen doesn't. Go. Go. They design department on the weekend. On weekends, very good. Helen doesn't call the design department on weekends. Very good, very good. Choose another person, Pedro. Um, Rene. Rene, number two. Okay. Number two. Uh -huh. yeah. Amy and Teresa uh, ask for the signatures every Friday. Very good. Ask. Very good. Ask. ask. What is the subject pronoun, Rene, that I can use instead of Amy and Teresa? What is the subject pronoun that I can use? Uh, they ask, no? They. Very good. That's perfect. They ask. Very good. Yo lo puedo cambiar aquí como me dice uh -huh. René que lo cambie. They ask for the signatures every Friday. Very good. Yes. That's perfect. Now let's Thank go you. with the next one, René. Who's next? Eh, quiero ver. Eliani. <laughs> Eliani. Number four. She cleans. She cleans. She cleans, very good. She cleans. Or, or they're in the morning. Our desk in the morning. Our, the desk oh. is like, for example, this is where I put my computer. This is my desk, okay? My desk in the morning. Our the morning. desk. Very good. Tell me, uh, let's see. Tell me, Susana, what is, what is the subject pronoun that belongs to our? Her. Her. Are you sure? To our, not to she, to our. What is the subject pronoun that va con our? We. We, very good, very good. That is perfect. Now, choose another person, eh, Susana. Hello? Choose another person. Selección otra persona. Choose another person. Fausto. Fausto, please answer this one. Mario. Dos and keeps. Mario doesn't keep. Uh -huh. A record of the merchandise. Mm -hmm. 
he bueno, esa palabra sí no me no sé cómo se pronuncia he cómo cree que se pronuncia he buys no uh, sé. very close he buys very close buys okay thank you you're welcome Mario doesn't keep a record of the merchandise he buys and who is the last one Fausto, choose another person. Oh, what? Choose another person. Um, mm -hmm. aquí. Anybody. Fausto. Eh, Wendy Joana. Wendy Joana. What is the answer for this one? The last one. Sería, I does. I does. Look at this. It's not negative. It's not negative. That's right. Mm -hmm. I right. Ah, okay. I watch. Watch. Joanna, Joanna, no Marielos. Joanna. What is the answer, Joanna? Joanna. I write. I write. Okay. Teacher. I write. I write. I write. Alisa. Mm -hmm. Alisa. Mm -hmm. With. No sé cómo se dice lo siguiente. With. With. Trate, with, no importa si se equivoca. Uh -huh. With. Things. With. With the things <laughs> we need at 9 a.m. Yes. Okay, one more time, Wendy. I write a list. We need. I, I write a list. list with the things we need at 9 a.m. With the okay. things. We need at 9 a.m. Okay. Now, I need you to take a screenshot of the answers, please. I need you to take a screenshot. Very good. Very good. Take a screenshot. ¿Ya tomaron la captura de pantalla? Take the screenshot. Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Very yes. Good. Perfect. yes. Perfect, perfect. Now... Let's continue working. Necesito que pongan en el... Eh, no, no, que pongan. Sería que quiten. Que se quiten la pena. Nos vamos a equivocar y se los dije el día uno. No importa si no sabemos la pronunciación, démosla. Así, como, así vamos a ir aprendiendo de... A puro error, vamos a ir aprendiendo la pronunciación. ¿Ok? Yo les voy a tratar de ir... Eh, corrigiendo, que fue esa palabra, pero ni modo. Eh, corrigiendo eh, la pronunciación porque... Ese es el trabajo que tengo que hacer. Y también cuando estamos trabajando en grupos, hay compañeros eh, suyos que ya van un poquito adelantados y les pueden ir ayudando con la pronunciación. Pero si no se equivocan, si no lo intentamos, no, por eso es que le digo, pronúncelo, ¿cómo cree que lo va a pronunciar? Para que así usted lo va, se vaya equivocando y dice, ah, no era así, era así, así me dijeron que tenía que ser. ¿Ok? Así que equivoquémonos sin pena y aquí nadie nos va a ver. ¿Ok? Ok. okay. Solo nosotros y después todo YouTube porque sube el video. Mentira. <risa> Pero intentémoslo. Me cae algo de los. Intentémoslo y nos equivocamos para, para que así ustedes también me dan la oportunidad de decir, ah, eso no está bien, eso no está mal. Y las palabritas que vayamos aprendiendo, utilícenlas. Porque ustedes ya se saben las ocupaciones. Pero en los grupos estaba viendo que dice, ah, y el guardia de seguridad y la enfermera pero son palabras que ya se las pueden, ¿ok? Entonces, como ya se las pueden, traten de utilizarlas. A nurse, 
a security guard, a receptionist, hay el recepcionista, entonces ya se las pueden, practiquenlas. Así como ustedes se recuerdan la pronunciación, así vayan practicándolas, ¿ok? Sigamos. Let's continue. Ok. Teacher. I have another, yes? No va a pasar lista. Sí, no ha pasado lista. <risa> Correcto. Ah, es cierto. Se lo olvidó. No, pero está bien porque llegué tarde. <risa> sí. Esa es la Muy lista, me, me, me estresa. Vamos a ver la lista aquí. Pero casi los mismos estamos, mire, ve. A eh, todo ya. 14, 15. Estamos 15. presentes todos, por ahí. Let's see here. Uh, Susana Guadalupe Costa de Cruz. Presente. Wendy Joana Ruiz González. Presente. René Alonso Madrid Escalante. Presente. Jennifer Madali Hernández Rivas. Presente. Eric Macario Pérez Ramírez. Presente. Briseida Mabel Avilés Zelaya. Presente. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López. Presente. Carla María Los Guevara Callejas. Presente. Wendy Yesenia Arita González. Presente. Edwin Antonio García Hernández. Edwin Antonio. Rosa Elena Figueroa Hernández. Jessica Joana Guardado de Medrano. Jessica Presente. Joana. Okay. Alexander de Jesús Palma. Presente. Presente, no sé si me vio, teacher. Sí, Alexander de Jesús. No, no Jessica. Ah, ya. Ya, thank you. Ok. Me asustó. <risa> Pedro Ernesto Quijada de Celaya. Presente. Eh, Mariela de Los Ángeles Colocho. No, María de los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz. Sorry. Presente. Eh, Carla Diezet Colocho de Parada. Presente. Abel Edgardo Martínez Hernández. Presente. Eleani Alejandra Nativi Rivera. Presente. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Presente. Ok, perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's continue, let's continue working. Sigamos trabajando. A ver qué encontramos aquí. Let's see, we have another exercise. And this exercise is pretty easy because in this exercise, you will be able to create a small conversation, okay? What happens to this exercise, right? It says here, eh, Carla Marielos, can you please read this instruction? Can you read this instruction, Marielos, please? Read a conversation with a partner about some, someone, no sé cómo se dice. Someone? Someone else daily activities and work also. Don't forget to mention the activity you do. Very good, very good. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? De acuerdo con Carla, lo que vamos a hacer es crear una conversación con un compañero acerca de las actividades diarias que hacen en el trabajo, at work, at work. Also, don't forget to mention the activities that you do, right? So we're having, right, we're having a conversation. You will create a conversation with your classmates, Right, about someone else's daily activities at work. Right. So we have the conversation here. It says, hello, how are you? Hello, I'm Sylvia. I have a question. What do you do on weekends, on weekdays? What are the weekdays? What are the weekdays? Sunday. Sunday. Monday. 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 Tuesday. 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 Very good, Saturday. very good. But in the United States, in the Estados Unidos, tenemos una pequeña división, les cuento. We have, we have weekends, no el cantante, but we have weekends, mm -hmm. Sunday, and Saturday. Saturday. Right? And 
weekdays. Week, oh, no, sorry. Week, <laughs> weekdays. We have Monday. What's next? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday. Okay, Friday. very good. So in the United States, we divide this as weekends, the days that we sleep, we can go to the park, we can go to the beach. Ahora ya podemos, ya se terminó la cuarentena. Right, so we go out on weekends, right? I go out on weekends. But on weekdays, usually what we do is that we work. Right? Usually we work on, on weekdays. So look at the question, it says, I have a question. What do you do on weekdays? I, and then you can say, for example, in my case, I teach English from 7 a.m to 10 a.m. I check exams from 10 a.m. to 12. I have meetings from 1.30 to 3 p.m. And then I can continue, right? That, those are my activities, right? When you ask, what do you do on weekdays? Eso lo quiero preguntar, right? What do you do on weekdays? And then after you have said the activities, aquí van a hacer sus actividades, you are going to ask someone else, what about you and your partner, right? What about you, eh, Fausto? What do you do on weekdays, right? What about Susana, Fausto? What does she do on weekdays, right? Ya tenemos información de los compañeros que hacen en su trabajo. La semana pasada compartimos por lo menos tres actividades que hacen, right? So, we have some ideas. Right? Si no la vamos a inventar, no hay problema, right? So, you're going to talk about you, right? Your partner is going to tell you about them and about someone else, right? ¿Está claro qué vamos a hacer o tiene alguna pregunta? Is it clear or do you have a question? Yes, it's what is your question? ¿Cuál es su pregunta? ¿Está clara la actividad o tienen alguna pregunta? Hello. Hello. No question. No, no question. Me va a conseguir el audio del grillito. Voy a, que con... Me va a poner el, el, el audio del grillito, del, del grillo, porque ya vi que no contesta. No sé si están cri, sordos cri, cri. o están mudos. Ok, so I'm going to push o you to work. Un poco de los dos. Y cuando voy a los grupos, nadie, eh, todos están haciendo algo diferente porque no preguntan. So let's see what happens, ok. Do you have the screenshot of the activity? Tomaron el screenshot de la actividad? No. Sí, yes. yo, yo, sí. Yo, sí. Yeah. sí, no, sí. I'm going to put it one yes. more time. Yes. ¿Quiénes no? ¿Quiénes no? One more time. Yes. Sí. Okay. B -A -B. Okay. So let's, let's get to work right now. Let's get to work. We're going, I'm going to put you to work in different groups. Let's see. Creo que... Hello. We're going to work in pairs, okay? Vamos a trabajar en pareja más rápido. So let's go. Let's go. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Trabajemos. Ya lo voy a ir visitando cada uno. Vámonos, vámonos. Let's get to work. Please join your groups. Tercera parte. Pero sí, yo creo que sí. Ajá, ya vi, no tenía pregunta. Ya ve. No, sí. 
Le, vaya, tengo una, es que no sé, teacher, pero bueno, Diga. vaya, espérame, primero voy a ponerles cringe. Ajá. Vaya, en la parte donde está el literal B, A, C, eso, eso lo tenemos que dar nosotros, pero de acuerdo a las actividades que nosotros realizamos. Mm. Sí. You have A, B, van sí. a hacer una conversación con Abel. Siguiendo Ajá, eh, el, el partner que está ahí, siguiendo la, la, la forma que le hemos escrito. Hello, how Ajá. are you? Hello, I'm Wendy. O puede decir, hello, I'm Abel, I have a question. What do you do on weekdays? Ah, I do this, this, and this. Right? Cuando usted dice, I, y usted ya le va diciendo qué es lo que hace. Entonces, yo hago, usted le dice, yo hago esto, yo hago lo otro. Right? Y, de, y después... Él le va a decir sobre, le va a preguntar sobre usted y sobre alguien más. Mm, ya, yeah, por eso tenemos she, he. Uh -huh. She, he. Por ejemplo, Abel puede hablar de él y puede hablar de, digamos, de a quién le Un compañero, un colegio. No, del work. La semana pasada compartimos información de activities that other person do at work. ¿Se acuerdan que les compartimos tres actividades? Compartieron sí. cada uno. Sí. De lo que hacen en el trabajo y los de la casa. Yes. Entonces, esas pueden utilizar, las mismas. Vale. Okay. ok. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Bueno. Vamos si puedes. Si querés. Wendy. A vuelve. No, yo sí quiero. Entonces, vas. Pero puede ser también rutina diaria o solamente de, de at trabajo. Work. At work. No, puede, Daily ser, routines, puede ser también la rutina. De trabajo. Routines at work. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. La rutina de. Right. Um, Uh, I, sal, I sal every day. Sal, se, sal, se dice. El, sal okay. every day. Every day. What was the, the information? <sighs> every day. Every day, okay. What is the, what is the, 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 ¿De instrucción, Madalena? Sí, ¿Qué es lo que quiere decir, Madalena? No lo escuché bien. Perdón. Es que no sé cómo se dice. Sales. Eh, sales. Sales. Sales person. Sales. Sí. Ah. Así. Sales. Sales person. Sales uh -huh. person. Very good. Sales. I sales. Selfers, ajá. Um, no sé si está eh, bien. I do the customer service work. Okay. I do the customer service at work. At work. Yo hago el servicio al cliente o estoy a cargo. At I'm work. in charge of. At. I am in charge of customer uh -huh. service. At work. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions about the activity? Okay. Me faltaba el at. Jennifer. Lo voy a preguntar ya ahora. No questions? No. Okay, so we'll go to another group. I'll be back. Si tienen preguntas, me avisan, okay? Sí. Hello. I do report. Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I work in the office. Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> no. I do send emails. I do reports. Uh -huh. What else? Uh -huh. Reports. Pero eso es lo que lo, para usted, Brisette. En mi caso. Eh, yo pongo ahí. But you remember there is a conversation. After you uh -huh. ask her, ella le va a preguntar a usted. Ajá, uh -huh. sí, what about you? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. Sí, sí. 
Okay, very good. Any sí, questions? No, no questions. Eh, bueno, eh, sí, teacher. Uh -huh. Ya en, en the answer, en letter I, I eh, we, eh, sería we, we, and, or she, or he. Por ejemplo, en este caso, si usted tiene un colega, porque le está preguntando, what about you and your partner? Ajá. So your partner is like a colleague. What about you and your colleague? Puede decir, we, o si usted tiene un, un colega que usted quiere hablar, we do this and this and this. You mention your activities. Mm -hmm. Or you can say, I do this and my colleague does this. Se hacen cosas diferentes. Ah, ok. Yeah. Uh -huh. Y el, y el she, el he, por si nos referimos a él directamente, a él o a ella. A esa persona, a, a su colega directamente. We, Ajá. por ejemplo, si usted está hablando, si su colega y usted hacen las mismas cosas. Ajá. ¿Eh? Por ejemplo, en mi caso, my colleagues and I, we do the same things because we teach, we plan, we prepare PowerPoints, we look for materials to teach the class. Ah, okay. But, por ejemplo, en mi company I have my supervisor. My supervisor, she doesn't do the same things as I do. She supervises the classes. She supervises me, right? I don't okay. supervise anybody. Entonces, tengo que usar she para describir lo que ella hace. Sí, sí, lo que ella hace. Exactly. Okay. Any more okay. questions? Uh, no, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Fin de semana. De semana. Fin de semana. Eh, I am eh, practice. Eh, ¿Algún deporte? Este. Mira, es que yo escucho música. ¿Cómo te lo puedo poner? I, eh, I listen to music. I, I listen to music. To music. Music, como que se escribe, ¿verdad? Music. M-U-S-I-C. Music. Music. Ok. Bueno. Ay. Creo que hemos concluido. Finish. Vaya. Vaya. Hola. Vaya. But you're writing things about you. The daily routines is the daily routine at work. Do you listen to ah, music sí, at work? Este... No, ese es yes. el Routine and work este, sería, creo que la, la primera. Exacto. Make a... Opa. Production report, ¿no? Ok. Esa era la suya. Hace reporte de producción. Ok, discúlpenme si me quedo como ahí en stand-by, pero... Este internet como que no he pagado, creo yo. Ya voy a revisar. ¿Qué? Sí, estoy, estoy en deuda. Estoy en... Estoy en Dico. Da pena. Ya me voy, yo me voy. Bueno, ya, ya. Ya le dio nervios. No, no. No, ¿por qué? No, hombre, esa es la Bye. pobreza que vive en el país. No, hombre, sí, ya la escucho bien. Ya estoy bien. Eh, fulanita o sotanita o, o en ese caso, y ella, así. Uh -huh. um, podemos poner sería, un ¿verdad? nombre. Uh -huh. O teacher. Así sería, okay. ¿verdad? Hello. Sí. No sé de qué están hablando, dime. Es en la última parte de la pregunta. No, ahorita estamos completando. En, en, la, ulti, ajá, en la última parte de la conversación. Ajá. Ok, ahí estábamos hablando con Fausto y eh, dice hay eh, y ya dice uno lo que, lo que uno hace. Por ejemplo, en mi caso, yo puedo decir es de I a check printing en locat with eh, no sé cómo se dice cotización no sé cómo se pronuncia puts and purchase what? Estoy uh -huh. puts 
and purchase. What is good? Es, es como cotizaciones. No sé si se pronuncia. Ah, you search for, you search for prices. Cotización. Como, ah, que usted decía, hacía eh, eh, la venta, ¿verdad? No, las compras. Sí. Right? No, you do the quotations. 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 Yes. Cotización es quotations. I look for quotes. Uh, quotations. Mm -hmm. I look for quotes. I look for quotes, for example, for merchandise. Uh -huh. I look for merchandise quotes. For example, I look for merchandise quotes, como las cotizaciones de mercancía. Right. Okay. That could be one. Okay. Entonces, uh -huh, Entonces eso lo decía yo. Y hay una parte donde dice eh, la última parte. Uh -huh. Es la pregunta. No sé si tiene problema Joana o tengo yo problema. Ya no escuché nada. I think she has problems with the internet. Uh -huh. Es que está, está como que va a llover y ella siempre tiene el internet un poquito inestable. Por eso que le cuesta. Inclu incluso yo tengo mal el internet este día. Pero no, me too. siguiendo lo de ella, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Continue. Continuemos. Ajá. Pretenda que soy Joana. Sí. Entonces ella llenaba su listado de actividades y realizaba una pregunta que es What about you and your partner? What about you and your partner, tu, Fausto? ¿Qué uh -huh. tú y tus compañeros? Bueno, exactly. las actividades que tenemos que tenemos en común es eh, eh, We prepare ya vino. purchase order <risa> Ya está Aquí estoy ¿Qué le pasó? <risa> ya volví No, es que yo sí los oía a ustedes pero ustedes no me oían a mí Ajá. Uh -huh. Yo sí es le oía. Sí, se está problema. Vaya, si gustas, continúe con la pregunta, Jessica. No, 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 está bien, los estoy escuchando porque yo creo que sí okay. me captó la, lo, lo que es que. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Va, entonces, bueno, un par de actividades que yo comparto con mis compañeros es, eh, digamos, WIP. Uh, prepare purchase orders and make invoice. Mm -hmm. Very good. Y, bueno, esa parte entiendo que me imagino que estamos hablando de una tercera persona que realiza una tercera, una actividad diferente. Mm -hmm. Es para completar la última porque dice we y de ahí tiene unos puntos Ajá. suspensivos y dice she, Por example, like a he. Por oh, ejemplo, sí. por ejemplo, in my case, right? In my case, uh, my colleagues are other teachers here in English corporate, you know, in English mm -hmm. corporativo, my colleagues are other teachers. For example, right now, uh, Miss Ruth is teaching uh, Principiante Uno as well, right? So we are colleagues. So we can say, we do the same things. Hacemos las mismas cosas. We do the same things. We plan the classes. We prepare the classes. We create the PowerPoints, right? We teach at 8 p.m. every day, right? We, Ruth and I, right? But if I am talking about my supervisor, for example, Miss Elena, I would say that we don't do the same things because she's a supervisor and I am a teacher. Right? So I can say, I, I prepare classes, I create the PowerPoints, I teach from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. She supervises the classes. She prepares reports. She calls the students, right? We are colleagues, but we do different things, right? Uh -huh. That's why we have two options, okay? okay? Very good. Okay. 
So okay. I'm gonna give you one more minute to finish that, and then we're going to go with the others. Okay, un minuto más y después nos vamos con los más. Okay, very good. Okay. Did you finish? Uh, yes. Can I listen to some of your uh, examples, Walter? Repeat, teacher. Can I listen to some of your examples? Excuse me. Hello? Peter, Hello. Peter. Perdón, perdón. Yes, Walter? Tell me one example. When some me, perdón, what is the conversation? Me. Tell me the conversation between you and Peter. ¿Quién va a comenzar? Los quiero escuchar. Ah, ok. Comienzo yo si quieres, Peter. Ok. Este... Hello, how are you? Hello. I am Peter. No. ¿Y usted dónde trabaja? Uh, what do you do on Monday? At uh, uh, Monday... Y re, re, eh, weekly report. Ok. Este. What do you do Thursday, Peter? Thursday oh, okay. is analysis on the system. Eh, la empresa queda ahí en la San Francisco. Okay, yes. Que no sé si realmente era así, pues. Sí, este, me puede generar la pregunta vos a mí ahora. Ok. Eh, Walter, what do you do on the Monday? On Monday. On Monday. On Monday. On Monday. Uh, on Monday. We we'll re we'll report, Peter. Okay, and what do you do on the Friday? On Friday. On Friday? Friday. Cleaning is the office. Okay, yes. um, on, on, on one question. I have a question. What about you and your partner? Um, this is the par. We this in the par. Uh, we let's go to shopping. Uh, we in the room. When you say that, uh, Walter, you're talking about you and your colleagues. Mm, no, no, teacher. Because when we say partner, we're talking about the colleagues. Uh, en este caso estamos hablando um, como las personas que trabajan con ustedes en su trabajo. Ah, perdón, yo lo había entendido mal, pensaba que era, era la, la pareja mía, oh. mi esposa. Usually we will use that just for partners, por ejemplo, puedo decir, your partner is Pedro. In ah, this okay. case, right? Su compañero. O sea, ah, el, partner okay. como, ajá, el partner es como compañero. Pero por ah, ejemplo, su esposa dice, my wife. Ah, ah my, okay. wife. my wife. Or my es que lo, lo, lo buscamos en el, en el traductor y nos confundimos. Ah, por el que lo tradujeron. Exacto. Uh -huh. ajá, my entonces, significant para. other es como mi, 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 así, su esposa, pero más romántico. My significant oh. other. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Ahí se lo estoy poniendo okay. en el chat. Y cuando decimos los días de la semana, siempre es on Monday. On Monday, on Saturday. No le agregamos nada más. Monday, on Monday. Solo sería on. On Monday, on Tuesday, okay. on Wednesday. Uh, on Porque si no, lo están diciendo como lo decimos en español. Y no decimos, la, las cosas en español no se dicen de la misma manera en inglés. Porque, por ejemplo, en español decimos el oh, lunes. Okay. El lunes, right? El uh -huh. martes, pero no lo decimos así en, en inglés. Ok, let's go. Vámonos con todos los demás. Ya terminamos acá. Let's go.
Okay, so do I have some partners ready? Some couples ready? Ready. Ready, okay. Wendy, Wendy is going to start ready. with your partner, Wendy. Then Pedro, okay. Hola. Ready. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Macario, okay. First, we're going okay. to listen to Wendy. Wendy, who is your partner, Wendy? Is uh... yeah, venido. Es que no me acuerdo cómo se llama. ¿Quién era el compañero de Wendy? ¿O la compañera de Wendy? Creo que Jennifer. Ah, no. El, el, no se la Eliane, ¿Eliane era la compañera? Yo soy la compañera de Wendy ahorita. Sí, yo que no la voy a ah. Solo por no acordarse, no lo hubiera ido. Okay. But when the Arita and Eliani right now, they are going to have their, their conversation. I need you to listen. Necesito que escuchen por si escuchan vocabulario nuevo, okay? I need you to listen in case you have a new vocabulary. So let's start. We're going to have Wendy and Eliani. Hello. How are you? Hello. I'm fine, thank I have a question. What do you do on white, white day? I make a clothing on white day. What about you and your partner? We are work in the different company he work in Herbalife. Really? Yes, it's very interesting. Okay, goodbye. See you tomorrow. Okay, goodbye. very good. Get them an applause. Very nice. Very nice. Now let's continue here with the next group. Eric, who was your partner? Okay, este, Carla, creo que se llama mi compañera. Tampoco, bueno. Vamos a hacer un introduce yourself todos ma el mañana. My name is... Bye. Eh, eh, Carla si and Eric. Por favor, compañera, quien era... Hola. Okay. <laughs> Iniciemos. Hello. How are you? Hello. I Eric. I have a question. What do you do on weekdays? I make a provision report and study at the night every day. Okay. I'm what I I go. No, ahí me pregunto usted qué hago yo también. I what I would do and your partner. Uh, we are meeting on the Mondays. Every Monday. Okay. What do you do on weekend day? I'm uh watch the movie. The weekend day. And you? Okay, finish. Okay. <laughs> finish. Okay, give the man applause. Very good. Finish. <laughs> finish conversation. Okay. Now, choose another person. Who wants to participate? Let's choose another person. Okay. Quien quiere participar? Who wants to participate? No he escuchado a Susana, no he escuchado a Pauto, a Joana. El silencio y brillo parece. No sé si Jessica quiera participar. Sí, quiere. Vamos. <laughs> Eso. <laughs> Okay, let's go. <laughs> uh, I'm letter A. Jessica is letter B. Hello. Okay. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. I have a question. What do you do on weekdays? 
a local quotation and purchase and printing check. What about you and your partner? We prepare purchase order and make invoice and catering have a customer service person. Thank you for information, Fausto. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, very okay. good. Give them an applause. Very good, very good, very good. And now, any more participants? No more participants? Are you mass? Hable hoy, calle para siempre. Okay, callar. <laughs> Now, we're going to continue here. I'm going to show you another exercise. This exercise here is a very nice exercise to share or to practice more like activities that you could do every day, right? In your work or during the day, in your house, right? There is a difference. Pero antes que nos movamos dos cosas. La palabra, las palabritas acá vi que tuvieron otro significado. Cuando tenemos esta palabra, partner, partner, como estamos, el escenario que estamos creando acá en inglés, recuérdense que les le dije los primeros días, las palabras en inglés pueden escribirse de la misma forma, pero dependiendo del escenario del, de, o oh, del contexto en el cual se están usando, van a tener un significado distinto. Okay. Entonces la palabra partner acá, okay. la palabra partner no significa eh, su pareja o su esposo right? o su esposa o su novio o su novia. Right? Como la, ¿Cuál es el escenario de, esta, de, esta, de, de este ejercicio? Classmate. Look at this. Create a conversation with a partner about uh -huh. someone else's daily activities. At work. At work. At work. At work. At work. Entonces, ¿qué quiere decir? A los compañeros. Compañeros de trabajo. Compañeros de trabajo. Exactly. Very good. Entonces, estamos hablando de sus compañeros, pero compañeros laborales. Right? Okay. Sus compañeros de trabajo. La palabra partner, como estábamos platicando con Walter y con Pedro, me parece. Sí, también puede significar que sea su esposo, su esposo, su novio, mi compañero, right? my partner, my husband. Pero en este contexto significa su compañero de trabajo. Wow. ¿Okay? Entonces tenemos que fijarnos okay. en el contexto. Otra cosa que me fijé, que varios estábamos, varios estábamos diciendo, por ejemplo, como lo decimos en español, los días de la semana, que decíamos... On the Sunday. Como para decir, como el domingo. Right? El domingo. Pero en realidad en inglés solamente decimos on Sunday. On Saturday. On Monday. Okay. Ya no le agregamos el da. Porque ya va como implícito. ¿verdad? Entonces la correcta forma que, what do you do on Sundays? I go to church. Voy a la iglesia, por ejemplo. Right? Y luego, pronunciación, weekends, ya es, ya que weekends ya significa fin de semana, weekends. Y aquí, weekdays, okay. weekdays, ya son días de semana, los días from Monday to Friday, right? Is it clear? ¿Estamos bien con eso? Yes. yes. Do you have a We question? Días yes. de la semana. Yes. Días de la semana, de lunes a viernes. Son como los días sí. laborales. Weekend, weekends, fines de semana. Fines de semana. Porque escuché que en varios okay. grupos dijeron weekends day. Weekends days. Ah. Right? Pero no. Solo yeah. weekends. What do you do on weekends? ¿Qué hacen weekends. los sábados y los domingos? Eso le quieren preguntar. ¿Qué hacen los sábados y los domingos? Yeah. Ah, hago eso. Right? Ok. I drink coffee. I drink coffee. A lot of coffee. Practice soccer. Very good. So, is it clear what we're doing here? Is that clear on this, esos puntos? Anote. Yes. Anote. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very good. Very good. Let's do our next yes. activity. 
In this activity, we have, we're going to write something you do and something you don't do on each day of the week. Use the phrases in the box. These are the phrases in the box or your own information. So I have, for example, in my case, on Mondays, I say, I get up early on Mondays. Right? And the phrase is right here. I get up early on Mondays. I get up early on Mondays. I don't sleep late on Mondays. Me mata mi jefa. I don't sleep late on Mondays. So what do I have here? Sleep late. And that's what I do on Mondays, right? Look at this. I get up early on Mondays. I don't sleep late on Mondays. We're going to create a positive sentence and we are going to create a negative sentence about you. That's what we're doing. We are going to use all these phrases. And we're going to use here on one positive and one negative. Positive, negative, positive, negative. Is that clear what we're doing? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. So yes. let's just start here. First, let me check some pronunciation. Can you help me out with the days of the week? Uh, Joanna Guardado? Hmm? Please help me out with the pronunciation for the days of the week. La pronunciación de los días de la semana. Okay. Wait. Monday. 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 Tuesday. Okay. Wednesday. <laughs> Jessica. Dijo Joanna Guardado. Friday, Saturday. Jennifer. Sunday. Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. And now, Jessica, please. <laughs> okay. Monday, <laughs> Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday, mm -hmm. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Very good. Very good pronunciation. Now, tell me out with the pronunciation of this, Mariela. Then here, Fausto, here, Rene, and here, Joanna. Check emails, drive a car, mm -hmm. eat breakfast. Okay. Exercise, get up early, uh -huh. go to school. Very good. I. Hi, dinner later, play video games, see my friends. Very good. Have dinner late. Have dinner late. Rene? Late. Have okay. dinner Have late. Dinner late. Very good. It's when you eat in the night, like around 9 p.m. or after the class, for example. All right. Have dinner late. And Joanna? Sleep late. Sleep late. Talk on the phone. Talk, talk on the phone. Watch television. Watch television. Very watch good. or watch? Watch television. Watch television. Very good. Sometimes we can say watch TV. Watch TV. Okay, it's easier. Watch TV. Watch, watch TV. TV is the abbreviation of television, right? Watch TV. Okay, very good. So let's just start here. We are going to do this individually, right? Please take a screenshot of this activity. Teacher. Yes. La pronunciación de esa de wash con la con la de lavar me me confunde. Oh. Because the other one is wash, wash. And this wash. one is what? 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 Ah. Watch television and the other one is wash. Es que cuando hablan rápido se entiende. <laughs> a little what? bit. It's a little bit. Uh, watch and wash. But wash. based on the context, you cannot say I'm going to wash a television. 
Mm. Right? Okay. Watch. Watch television. Okay. Did you take the screenshot? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So let's just start working. Let's do this individually. Yes. Let's do it individually. Let's just start. Puede compartir la pantalla, teacher. No, le gusta un screenshot. Ahí sí puedo. Let's see. What about now? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's continue. Mientras ustedes trabajan, yo les paso la asistencia de nuevo. Susana Guadalupe Costa de Cruz. Presente. Wendy Joana Ruiz González. Presente. René, Alonso, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Presente. Jennifer Madali Hernández Mejíbar. Presente. Eric Macari Pérez Ramírez. Presente. Briseida Mabel Avilés Celaya. Presente. Paus Antonio Landa Verde López. Paus Antonio Alanda Verde López. Presente. Carla Marielos Guevara de Callejas. Guevara Callejas, I'm sorry. Carla Marielos. Presente. Eh, let me see. Wendy Yesenia Arita González. Presente. Edwin, Edwin Antonio García Hernández. Roselena Figueroa Hernández. Jessica Joana Guardado de Medrano. Presente. Alexander de Jesús Palma Amaya. Pedro Ernesto Quijada Celaya. Presente. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado Díaz. Presente. Carla Adiacet Colocho de Parada. Presente. Abel Edgardo Martínez Hernández. Presente. Eleani Alejandra Nativis Rivera. Presente. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Presente. Thank you. Did you finish the exercise? No. 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 Why? Please tell me if you have any questions. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay. I have to go to Wednesday. Do you have questions? Let me know. Si están tímidos en el chat, please. Do you want to know the vocabulary? Yesenia Arita, what is the question? Want to know vocabulary, Yesenia? Es que no sé si entendí bien que con lo que aparecía a un lado de la imagen y vamos a complementar los días. Yes, yes. Pero todavía no he terminado. Ok, ok. Don't worry. <laughs> 
Very good. Very good. Cosas que debemos de recordar. El I siempre lo vamos a poner con mayúscula. I. I. Y porque vale iniciar la oración también. ¿Ok? Siempre empezamos con mayúscula y terminamos con un puntito. Los días de la semana, también se me olvidó decirles que los días de la semana y los meses del año, days of the week and months of the year, siempre, 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 como sea, si está en inglés, van a ir con mayúscula. En español los ponemos con minúscula, pero en inglés los vamos a poner con mayúsculas toda la vida. Se me olvidó decirles los días de la semana y los meses del año. Ok. Very good. Very good, me están preguntando, me gusta que me pregunten. Very good. Do you have more questions? Santa Madre del Cielo. Ya están de exagerar. Oh. Responde a quien no era aquí, mira. Uy, la tecnología, mira. Remember, remember, remember the order. Subject, verb, complement. Eso sí es lo más. Aquí lo tienen que, se lo vamos a tatuar de todo. Sub, yo me lo voy a tatuar y ahí me lo ven. Subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement. Okay. Very good. Okay. So let's share some of the examples before you go. I am going to share some of your of the examples que ya me enviaron algunos, se los voy a poner en el en para que lo vean acá. Eliani, can you read the, your examples? I exercise on Tuesday. I, I don't have a dinner letter on Tuesday. Okay, very good. I don't have dinner late on Tuesday. Dinner. Very good, very good. Now, Adia Seth, can you please read your examples? Finish, teacher. Very good. I check my. 
As I said, we cannot hear you. Lea su ejemplo. Uh -huh. I check my mail on Wednesday. Uh, I don't exercise on weekdays. Okay, very good. Read your examples here, uh, Joanna. All right. Ahí se las estoy poniendo en el chat, solo para que los vean. I watch TV on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Very good. Arita. Yo la puse ahí en el chat. No sé si está bien. Si se... Léalo, léalo. Ahí está ahorita. Everyone is looking at the chat right now. Me faltó el... el... Read. Permítame. La permito. Arita. Look at I the play, example. Uh -huh. I play video games and see my friends or on Sunday. On Sundays. Okay, very good. Ese ejemplo se los puse para que vean que también podemos unir dos actividades en una misma oración. Si las dos actividades pasan el mismo día, podemos utilizar la conjunción o the conjunction and. ¿Se fijaron el ejemplo que les puse ahí? Right. And. Now I need to listen. Give me one example quickly, Susana, y el último, Carla Marielos, y terminamos con este ejercicio. And Saturday. I she I see my friend. I love dinner late. Okay, very good. On Saturday, también podemos hacer eso que Susana está haciendo. Al inicio podemos poner la frase. On Tuesdays, on Sar on Saturdays, I wake up late. Right? For example, very good. Eh, Marielos. I sleep late. On Friday. Very good. I sleep late on Friday. Okay, so now, do you have a question before we go? ¿Alguna pregunta antes que nos vayamos? No? No questions? No, no teacher. No question. No question. No question. Teacher. Yes? Este, de la actividad que estaba diciendo al inicio de la clase, las que tenemos que hacer, ¿hasta cuándo tenemos el límite para hacerla? Hoy, el, el midterm. Uh -huh. Hoy, lo ma bueno, mañana, porque mañana lo voy a revisar. Ok. Ok. okay. Very good. Para los que no han hecho el midterm, por favor hagan el midterm y las actividades pendientes. Ok. Una, una pregunta, una pregunta, okay. teacher. Este, okay. Las tareas están hasta la tarea 10 y los midterm hasta la 4. Exacto. Son cuatro ah. partes de la, del, del midterm y las 10 tareas. Ah, ya lo. Ya lo unidad 2. Okay. Unidad 2, correcto. Okay. 10 tareas y un midterm. Un parcial Thank que you. está ahí. You're welcome. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank Have you. a beautiful night. Bye Thank bye, everyone. Bye bye. 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 Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.